vehicle. So most of our vehicles have an engine in it that use the four stroke cycle. So what are the four strokes? Intake, intake, compression, compression power, power, exhaust. and exhaust. And we call it the four stroke cycle. How many degrees of crankshaft rotation does it take to get through the whole four stroke cycle? 720. So the crankshaft has to go around 720 degrees so that we can accomplish all four strokes. So therefore, how long in degrees is each stroke? 180, yeah. Each stroke is 180 degrees. Okay. So we've got an engine here. It's a four-cylinder engine, and we've got a firing order there. The firing order is 1342. So <coughs> the firing order, we want to figure out mating cylinders. Mating cylinders is sort of like um, buddies. Mates is, I don't know if any of you watch any English TV, but in England they always talk about mates, right? Me and me mates are going out to have a beer, okay? So so the cousins here, they're mates, okay? They're, they're going out to a bar, but what they're doing is different. They have different goals, okay? One of them is looking to have some beverages and the other is looking to meet some ladies, okay? They're both going to the same place, but they're doing different things, they're mates. Same thing happens with an engine. An engine has mating cylinders, the pistons are going the same direction, but they're doing different things. How do we figure out which cylinders are mates? Well, we take a firing order and we split it in half. We take the second half of the firing order, we bring it over underneath the first half. One and four are mates, three and two are mates. Does that make sense? If I look at the diagram, what I can see is that cylinder number one, which is the one closest to the front of our engine, that's meant to represent a fan. That's cylinder number one. And cylinder number four, they're both going which direction? Down. So they're both going the same direction. They're doing different things though. So they're both mates. Okay? Make sense? Okay. So let's look a little bit at uh, what goes on in the four-stroke cycle. So uh, if we are at the top with the pistons, what do we call that location? Top dead center. And if we're down here, what are we at? Bottom dead center. So what strokes do we have that start at top dead center and go down of these four? Power and intake. And what strokes start at BDC and go up? Compression and exhaust. What I've learned through teaching this over many, many, many years is that I, I do a whole lot of baby steps in this to guide you through it. Some people need every single one of those baby steps. Some people get it really quickly and they start making big leaps. I don't teach you the big leaps because what I found is with the big leaps, some people veer off the course, okay? I'll teach you a whole bunch of baby steps and we'll see if, uh, <laughs> if that makes sense to you, okay? Follow the baby steps, you can't go wrong. If you start making leaps, you'll usually go off track. So we said we've got 720 degrees of crankshaft rotation. So we start up here at the top, we go around once, that's 360 degrees. We go around twice, that's 720 degrees. So twice around the circle gives us 720 degrees. We get all four strokes accomplished, okay? So I now have to figure out what's going on with my pistons, where they are. So for this case, I'm gonna tell you that Cylinder number one is at top dead center on its way down and it's starting its power stroke, okay? So we're gonna label it on this diagram here. So piston number one is up here at TDC. How do I know that? Because I told you that, okay? For us to figure out what all of the other cylinders are doing, I have to show you what one of them's doing. If I don't show you one of them, then you can't figure it out. You have to know where one of them are. So number one is here. The next part is a little bit confusing, okay? In North America, what's the North American direction of rotation for our engines? Clockwise. Clockwise. Okay, it's known as the SAE direction of rotation. Do all engines rotate clockwise? No. no. Where would you find an engine that doesn't rotate clockwise? Rotating. 
old Honda four cylinders, right? Old Honda four cylinders rotate counterclockwise. Or if you're working on a marine application and you have what they call a twin screw, you got two propellers, then they normally won't have them both go in the same direction because what will that cause? The boat keeps making big circles, right? You have to steer to counteract that. So they'll often have a left-hand drive and a right-hand drive, and they'll go opposite. So you may have an engine that rotates counterclockwise in a marine application. For most of our cars, you usually find clockwise direction of rotation. Um, so any of you ever go to the casino or maybe to a, a stag or something like that and play Crown and Anchor? There are, or maybe the carnival, the circus is in town and you're, you're at the carnival doing crown and anchor. So with crown and anchor, okay, the, the wheel spins around and around and around in this direction. If number one is here, the next in the firing order is what? Three. three. Where's three going to come from? From the bottom. From, from the bottom, yeah, but because it's rotating clockwise, to put three on here, I have to go this direction, right? Three is going to come from here and come up. So I have to apply the numbering counterclockwise. It doesn't make a big difference on a four cylinder, but believe me, it makes a big difference when we get up into more cylinders on an engine. So number three goes here. What's the next in the firing order? Number four. Four goes up here. What do we know about one and four? They're mates, okay? So mates travel together. Mates do different things though. So four is up here, it's gonna come down when one goes down. What's the next in the firing order? Three. Two, so I go back down here and two is down here with three. Three and two are mates, okay. So I know that number one <laughs> is up here at top dead center and it's coming down on the power stroke. What I like to do when I put number one on there is I like to immediately go to what is its mate doing? This is really easy when I label what strokes start at TDC and come down. Okay, If I tell you that number one is on power, its mate can't be on power. So if it's coming down as well, there's only one option for what it's doing. What's it doing? It's coming down on intake. So I do that right at the beginning. The reason for that is as I go through the firing order, when I get halfway through, it's nice to have a checkpoint to see, hey, I'm on the right track. This is actually working. That way you don't have uh, uh, this big question, am I doing the right thing? If you get halfway through and you're on the right track, you go, oh, this is easy, I'm doing the right thing, okay? So now we're gonna work through the firing order. So number one, we said, is on power. The next in the firing order is number three. So if number one is ready to fire on power, what stroke do we have to do before we do a power stroke? Compression. So number three is down here. It's going to be going up on compression. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay. Because I got to get three ready to fire because as soon as I get it up to the top, it's going to take number one's place and fire. Okay. So number three has got to get ready to fire. What's next in the firing order after three? Number four. Okay. Firing order is one, three, four, two. So. We go up here to number four. Now number three is down here doing compression. It's squeezing the air fuel. What do we do before we do compression? We have to breathe. We have to bring in the air and fuel. We have to do intake. So four is up here and it's at the top coming down doing intake. I've already got that. How did I know that? Mating cylinders, okay? I did it based on mating cylinders. So these two guys, they're going to the bar. They're going the same direction. They're doing different things though. These two, they're going the same direction, but they're doing different things, okay? Lastly, after four, what's our last cylinder? Two. two. Is two going up or coming down? Up. Two is at the bottom. It has to be going up, right? So it's going up. What's it going up on? What stroke? Exhaust. On exhaust, because four was doing intake. The stroke before intake is exhaust. <laughs> we got to get rid of that, all of those old burnt gases. Now, the distance from TDC to BDC in degrees is how far? How far in crankshaft degrees is 
180 degrees, right? So if we travel from TDC to BDC, that's 180 degrees. If I travel from BDC up to TDC, that's 180 degrees, okay? So this here, what we want to know is because it's a four cylinder, okay, we divide the number of cylinders into 720 and it tells us how often we have a cylinder firing. We have a cylinder firing every 180 degrees. So what that says to me is the distance from here to here is 180 degrees. So when three gets up to the top, that's 180 degrees, it fires. When two gets up to the top and it fires, that's 180 degrees. Every time a cylinder gets to the top, that distance, 180 degrees, okay? That doesn't happen with all engines. Let's look and see our next engine. We have a six cylinder, okay? Six cylinder firing order. One, five, three, six, two, four. How do I figure out mating cylinders? Cut it in half and carry that over underneath. Six, two, and four comes over. One and six are mates, five and two are mates, three and four are mates. Everybody clear on how we figure out what cylinders are mating? One thing I have to have you do when we're doing this is if I ask you a question and you're unclear, let me know because I can't read minds, okay? That doesn't work so well. I've got a 720 degrees to uh, get all of our strokes accomplished. We have a six-cylinder engine. How often do I get a power stroke? 120, every 120 degrees. So. This looks a little bit different. <coughs> there's TDC, there's BDC. The distance from TDC to BDC or BDC to TDC is 180 degrees. We have a cylinder fire every 120 degrees. 120 degrees looks something like that, right? Cut a circle in three pieces. You got 120 degrees per piece. <clears throat> so I have uh, cylinders one, two, three, four, five, six. Cylinder number one, I'm going to tell you it's coming down on power. What strokes start at TDC and come down? We looked at it over there. Power and intake. What strokes start at BDC and go up? Compression and exhaust. Okay, so number one is coming down on power. What's number one's mate? Six. Six. So therefore, six is up here. Which direction is it going to go? On what stroke? Intake. Number one's on power. Its mate is coming down at the same time. It's on intake. Now I gotta put the numbering on here. Now you'll see why it's important that we understand. If the engine goes <coughs> clockwise, I've gotta label this counterclockwise, okay? Number one is up here at top dead center ready to fire. What's the next in the, in the uh, fire order? Five. five. Where on here do I put number five? Right here. I have to go back here because five is going to come up and fire next. Okay, what comes after five? Where's three go? Over here. What's next? Six. Goes up here with one, right? What comes next? Where's it go? And lastly? Where's it go? With three. Okay, so one, five, three, six, two, four. We're going counterclockwise. Why do we go counterclockwise? Because our engine rotates clockwise and I have to make sure that every time it goes around that the right number comes up to the top. Who's confused by that? Everybody's okay? A little bit? Do 
know why it's 120 degrees rather than 180 degrees on this one. Right, I have to have a cylinder fire every 120 degrees, so I gotta space them 120 degrees apart. When I space them 120 degrees apart, I have to label them 120 degrees apart. So in the twice around, 720 degrees, all six cylinders will fire, right? But they're all gonna fire 120 degrees apart. Okay, so number one is on power and it's coming down. What's next in the firing order? Five. Five. Okay, I'm gonna show you another little baby step that helps. Everything on this side is going what direction? Down. Everything on this side is going up. Okay, so after number one, the next in the firing order is five. So is five going up or coming down? Going up. What's it going up on? Compression. Why compression? Because it has to be able to fire when it gets up to the top. So five is going up on compression. What's next in the firing order? Number three. Is three going up or coming down? What's it going down on? Coming down. Down strokes are power or intake. So it's coming down on? Intake. Okay. Down strokes are power or intake, okay? What comes after three? Six. Is six going up or coming down? Better be going down. If it goes up, it goes through the head, right? We jam the piston through the head. So six is coming down. What's it coming down on? On intake. We already have that. How do we have it? Mating cylinders, okay? Halfway through, we got a nice little checkpoint. See that? Hey, we're on the right track. We didn't make a mistake. What comes after six? Two. Is two going up or coming down? Going up. What's it going up on? On exhaust. And lastly? Four. Four. Up or down? What's it going down on? Power. Now, if you look at this, what might be confusing to some people is I've got one on power and four on power. How can I have two pistons on power at the same time? Yeah, four is just ending the power stroke, and what's one doing? Just starting. And if I look at, uh, I've got three and six, okay? Three is on intake, okay? It's just ending intake, and what's six doing? Just starting intake. How long are strokes? 180 degrees. Okay, a stroke is from TDC to BDC or BDC to TDC. But this engine has a cylinder fire every 120 degrees. Okay? Who's lost? No? Everybody okay so far? All right. Next, we're going to do an eight cylinder. You'll, you'll notice in the diagrams that we've seen so far, we looked at an engine from the side and you could see the pistons, okay? In the next one, what we're looking at really is the crankshaft from the front. Okay, firing order is one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. That's a very common firing order for GM or for Chrysler, okay? They've used that forever. How do we figure out mating cylinders? Split it in half and carry it over. One and six, eight and five, four and seven, three and two. Now it's an eight cylinder, so I have to figure out how far apart our firing inter intervals are. 90 degrees. <coughs> so there's TDC, there's BDC. What strokes start at TDC and come down? Power and intake. And what strokes start at BDC and go up? 
compression and exhaust. Twice around gives us our 720 degrees. We have firing intervals every 90 degrees. So it looks a little bit different than what we saw in the last one. That's 90 degrees apart, right? From here to here is 90, here to here is 90, that's 90, that's 90. I'm only drawing a double line just so you can see it beside it. This green line represents 180 degrees for our stroke, TDC to BDC or BDC to TDC. Okay, number one is on power. How do we know? We know that because I told you that. Okay, I could tell you any of the eight <coughs> cylinders, but I'm telling you that number one's on power. One thing that you can't get hung up on that some people get fixated on is they think that number one's always on power. Okay, number one cylinder can't be on power all the time because that would mean that the engine's not really doing anything. They all get a turn at power, right? They're all going to be rotating, taking a turn. What's number one's mate? Six. six. So what's six doing? Six is on intake. So I put one up here and six is with it. What comes next in the firing order after one? Eight. Where's eight going to go? <coughs> right here. What comes after eight? Four. Where's four go? At the bottom. Next. Where's three go? Next. Six. I already got it. Next. And. And lastly, one, eight, four, three, six, five, seven, two. See why we got to go backwards? Because <coughs> one fires, eight fires, four fires. The engine's going clockwise. Okay, I got to have the right number come up to the top. If I don't have the right number fire, it's not going to run, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After number one, the next in the firing order we said was eight. Okay, all of the action on this side is going up. Over here, it's coming down. So is number eight going up or coming down? What's it going up on? Compression. Compression. What comes after eight? Number four. Is four going up or coming down? Going up. What's it going up on? Compression. They're both on the same stroke because how long is a stroke? 180 degrees. How far apart are our firing intervals? 90 degrees. Okay, what comes after four? Three. Is three going up or coming down? What's it going down on? Comes after three. Six. Is it going up or coming down? On intake. And there we go. Mating cylinders, we already know that. We're on the right track halfway through a long eight cylinder firing order. What comes after six? Five. Is five going up or coming down? What's it going up on? On exhaust. What comes after five? Seven. Up or down? What's it going up on? Next. Up or down? down. On? Power. Power. Makes sense? Everybody okay with that? Yes, sir. So that will all change depending on what cylinder you start at, what payloads. Yep. So say if you started on cylinder two. Yeah. Then I'd put two at the top and say two's on power, and then I'd have to go because one thing you have to understand about. Uh, uh, a firing order is it just it's continuous it, it never so it goes one one eight four three six five seven two one eight four three six five seven two so if we started at two two's on power one would be here coming up on compression and eight would be down here coming up on compression and four is over here going down on intake it's the same thing continuously right it never ever ends anybody else got any questions
Everybody sort of kind of okay with that? Okay. Now we're going to have a look at, we have two different firing orders. These are Ford firing orders. Ford makes two versions of the 302, also known as the 5 liter. They make a normal output 5 liter, and they make a high output 5 liter. So the top one is the normal output 5 liter firing order, 1542637A. The bottom one is the high output, 1372654A. So what I want you to do is exactly what we just did here for the GM and Chrysler firing order, you're going to do it for the two Ford firing orders. So make your diagram, place the firing order on there, figure out what your mating cylinders are. It's an eight cylinder, so we know that the firing intervals are every 90 degrees. Everybody okay with that? Okay, you guys try that now, and we're going to see how you make out on it. Okay, so just get out some scrap paper and, and try it. And this is similar to what your test will be like. 